Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Better give a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life serene. Hello darlings, it's Tess and welcome back to Vlogoween. Today begins my preparation, or at least my documentation of my preparation for my Halloween party, which as of me filming this, it's only two days away and I have so much to do. I still have to do some shopping. I did a little bit last night, but um, I still need to do some. I've uh, prepared my pumpkins. I've taken all the seeds and the gross stuff out and now they're just ready to carve, which is the fun part. Um, I need to do some tidying. Did I say that before? Yeah. But anyway, like all of the mess in this apartment pretty much is my fault. Like I, my, my mother has a few things here and there, but most of it's my fault. So, um, I have to tidy that, move some things around. And then there are some things that can only be done, um, like right before the party. Um, so, like I'm going to make some cupcakes and so I don't want to make them too early cause they might like you know, sort of soak in and get a bit weird. And um, I don't want to like carve up my fruit platter too early either. Cause that way the fruit and everything, you know, it might go brown and stuff like that. But um, I always have fun with the fruit platter and my friends always like it. So um, that's good. But anyway, um, we've got a lot to do. And so obviously I'm going to take you with me as is the point of Vlogween. And um, I hope you enjoy seeing me just trying to get my freaking life together and tidy up my own mess and just all of that stuff. So let's go. So I started off by putting some of my candy into the right jars. So for the pink love jar, I wanted to get strawberry lollipops and the love heart ones. I put chocolates into the spider jar, fantails, gotta love them. And then I worked on clearing up this table. Um, that is my fishy Francois. I had to move him into another room to make space for the food and the other things on the table. So I kind of don't like moving him ever because it sort of scares him a little bit, but that's okay. That plant is very important to us. I moved that as well. And then that box there is actually for the cupcakes I'm going to make later. But all of this had to be cleared off for a very, very special reason, which is the fact that I needed to put a tablecloth down. And what tablecloth is that? It's a Ouija board, ladies and gentlemen. There I am making it dance because I'm so excited. So I'd been waiting to use this all month after editing it, after ordering it rather. And so, yes, great success and on go the decorations. So we have a haunted house, we have some flowers that mom happened to get, we have the candy jars, all of them, a little pink pumpkin, another candy jar, my fortune telling hand with the purple butterfly and my little unicorn skeleton, you can see them all here. And I also put some purple fake flowers and a couple of pink paper flowers into the love heart candy jar. Um, and then that bottle is a little moon dust, I think, if I remember. Good old unicorn friend. I do love him a lot. And then, yeah, there's the pink pumpkin close up. Now I had to pick up some stuff that was on the floor. My Halloween shoes were on the floor and I had to get that cardboard out of there as well, which is my thing for overspray paint, which I think you guys have seen. And then there was just a little bit of clutter that I had to deal with in our living room. And again, pretty much all of it is mine. So, um, that took a few minutes, but obviously it was completely worth it. And um, it didn't take as long as I worried it would. So I think um, we all won there. 
Also, my hair, when I tie it up like that, if I don't put any effort into like rolling it into a pretty bun, it just looks so freaking ridiculous. Like it just stands up like that and looks so stupid, but that's okay. So I needed to fold up our blankets, not that we were going to need them during Australian spring, which is when Halloween is in. Not autumn vibes down here, just the spring vibes. It can sometimes be very warm during Halloween, hence why the um, relatively small overalls are good because they are both Halloween and they will keep you cool. So that was good. Then my all important Halloween pillow had to come out of my room. I dealt with the other ordinary pillows, but then, yeah, I just had to do a little dance for this pillow, you know. Okay, so I then tidied some things around in our kitchen to make room for the food that I was going to be making. So here I changed into my ugly clothes in case I spilled something. Um, and I didn't want to get those overalls uh, potentially like wet from the washing up when I was doing it. Um, so this is me trying to open my rainbow sequin cup and having to use a tea towel to do it, which is like pretty funny. Um, but I got done most of this washing up. I just got through it and um, then it was time to go to bed and get ready for the party on the next day. So first thing I needed to do uh, the very next day is to uh, make these cupcakes and I had bought the kit online a while ago as you just saw I was I saw the ad on Instagram and I was just too excited and I ordered it straight away so it comes with um, the baking cups some spooky sprinkles some strawberry drizzle to look like blurred some icing decals that you can see there that is the dry mix of all the chocolate and flour and such and that is the icing so all you have to do is add the wet ingredients and there is a piping bag as well so I got everything out ready to go I arranged the wet ingredients ready to go in and like the egg and the milk and um, got the measuring cup out and did my little thing and made sure that everything was gonna you know be put together the correct way because I was just really excited to make these cakes how much does humanity owe to that flexible rubber thingy that scrapes down bowls? We owe it so much. Okay, so here now it was time to fill those patty pan cases with the um, batter. And I, not, I am not the like most neat person at this, but I tried my very best. Um, and I just kind of plopped them in there and I did think that um, the stripes meant that they were gonna look cute so getting the mess a little bit was um, I think worth it so in they go bye bye little friends and out you come now I had to wait um, for these to cool all the way down until I could ice them. So I passed the time by doing some other things. So I needed to chop up some fruit and get it ready for my spooky monster fruit platter that I make every single year that always goes down a treat. I dug it out of the belly of Pinterest uh, many years ago. Um, and my friends loved it when I first did it and so now I just do it every time. So um, there are blackberry and watermelon skewers. Blackberry and rock melon, Tess. You can literally see yourself chopping the rock melon as part of it, which obviously makes sense because they're orange and black. So I had to um, de-seed and chop up the rock melon for that or you guys in America call it a cantaloupe and we call it a rock melon, I guess because when it's not cut, it looks like a rock. So, you know, 
whichever name is best, you know, leave it in the comments, whatever. <laughs> I then dealt with some strawberries to cut them up into little sort of triangle bits of the strawberry because I make little monster faces out of apples and I needed little bits of strawberry to be the tongues of the monsters. Um, so that's what the strawberries are for. So I just propped, uh, popped, uh, cut a few and popped them into um, my uh, Tupperware lunchbox there, ready to arrange everything for the party the next day. So next up I made the guacamole and you just need to see this for yourself. It was just ridiculous. Yeah, so uh, that was a mess, but I ended up getting all of the avocado out, which was good. I have loved avocado my whole life, even before the avocado toast trend. So I chopped up two avocados to make my graveyard of guacamole platter that you're going to see later. Um, but I chopped up the avocados, I mashed them, and I put in a wee bitty bit of Greek yogurt, um, just as a trick to give it a tiny bit of a creamy flavour, but also to stop it going brown overnight in the fridge. So I put that into a satisfyingly perfectly sized little uh, Tupperware, and then it was time to ice the cakes. So I opened up the icing mixture and uh, put it and some butter into a bowl and whipped it up. It was green icing, even though it looked white in the bag, which was funny. Um, and then I plopped it oh so chaotically, messily, disgustingly into the frosting bag, which I basically had never done before. And icing cupcakes like this I basically also had not done before, but it was fun and the little icing decals certainly made it look, you know, more fancy than what it actually was. And I had fun with the sprinkles as well, even if I did get a few of them everywhere. So there was a few different designs. There was a pumpkin, a skull, there was a witch, a couple more that you'll see in a second. Um, but the cupcakes ended up, they did look really cute. I had some icing left over that I didn't want to just throw out, so I put it into this, um, gourmet rocky road that I got from a stall, um, where I live, and I put some of the leftover sprinkles on it as well, so we have spooky, very, very rich rocky road. So here we have, there's a haunted house, there's the witch, there's the skull, there's the jack-o'-lantern, there is a bat over there on the right, and just cut off um, over on the left is the spider. So here I am drizzling it with the strawberry blood, which I think looks pretty cool. There they are. Hi friends. So next up, I am setting the table. This is the day of the party and I've got all of this tableware because what else would you expect of me? I got this from a couple of different party stores and all of it is just um, the best. I got this bowl as well. I ordered that this year. Um, there are the cups and the decanter bottle that I got just for the occasion. This is a picture of the ideal Halloween platter. Mine does look a bit messy compared to that, but you know, I still love it and my friends still loved it. So here I am chopping up the bananas, which I obviously didn't want to do the day before, like the other stuff that I did, because bananas go brown quite quickly. So the bananas are ghosts, and so I use Nutella and the end of a skewer stick to give them eyes and the little ghosty mouth. Now, here I am trying to make the apple monsters, which need to be cut a certain way so that it's a green wedge um, that then has the mouth in the middle, 
but it's really difficult to create that wedgie gap without cutting through the apple completely and making it into two pieces. So I did that a whole bunch of times. There was much swearing, but this one went okay. There is the little strawberry tongue. And then I added Tic Tacs in there to be the monster teeth, which always look really cute. And then there are little icing eyeballs um, that I stick on with a little bit of Nutella. So I chopped apple after apple, and you can see with that one, yep, fail, went into three pieces, and I had to try and just frickin' save it, but I don't think I did if my if I remember correctly, but there is the finished plate looking fabulous in my personal opinion. There are the chips, both corn and veggie. There is the guacamole graveyard with cupcake wafers, wafers rather. Those are some vegan donuts that I got that morning from our local town square. There are some Smarties looking very cute in the cauldrons. There are the drinking cups and the decanter as I showed before. Over on the big table there are the candy jars, that one is Chuppa Chops, that one is Fantails, which is a fab Australian chocolate, if you haven't heard of it. I put my Sarwin Oracle deck, as well as my uh, mini tarot cards and my palm reading book onto the table, in case anybody wanted to play around and do a reading, which we did. We did some Oracle readings, and kind of all of us got read to filth a little bit. I decided to add some cupcakes to the donut plate. There is the um, Ouija board tablecloth just looking so amazing. I dressed up my pumpkin in my hat with the little floral bit. Okay guys, it is now the day after my party. All of my friends seem to have really good fun, not just watching the movies that we were watching. We watched The Night Before Christmas. Nightmare before Christmas, Tess. Nightmare. You are a big enough fan that you watch the movie and you literally have Nightmare Before Christmas Jack and Sally paper plates that you used for the party, but you still can't get the movie title right. Really? Really? The Witch and Midsommar, and The Witch and Midsommar are probably my two favourite horror films, so that was amazing. Um, but they all love meeting each other, um, so that was amazing, and there were lots of jokes about how we should do a Dungeons and Dragons game at some point, so maybe that's like a sign of the fact that, you know, Gen Z slash millennial people are getting along. Like if someone mentions that they want to play D&D, then chances are everyone's getting along. <laughs> In any case, obviously um, everything is cleaned up now. I couldn't really be bothered to show you that just because I feel like it'd be boring. Like I'm just taking mess away rather than like actually making something satisfying. Like I feel like the before it is much better. <laughs> Um, so everything's nice and clean now, as you can see, um, so thank you so much for watching this video, um, I probably am like a Becky Homecky kind of housewife, like, not a housewife, but you know, a uh, homemaker, kind of like, oh yes, I'm gonna put everything together and it's all decorated and I have this to make and this to make and I need to do this, this, this and this and the table needs to be arranged. Like, I probably do that like twice a year. Once is Halloween, so this, and the other one is like helping my mother with Christmas. So making this video felt a little bit weird, but I hope that it was satisfying for you guys. Um, uh, whoever you are, whatever you do, why ever you're here, whether you like Halloween, whether you're a longtime subscriber, whether you just Google people's party prep videos for some reason, but whoever you are, why ever you're here, I'm so thankful that you are, and subscribe for more of my um, Halloween chaos. It's nearly here, it's nearly here, guys. Um, and also Rainbow Chaos after that. We do witchy things, we do crafty things, we are, we do vlogs and try to have fun. Like, we just do whatever we feel like around here, really. So, I'm glad you're here, and in any case, whether you choose to stay or go, I love you, 
keep going.